Those clearer skies never appeared. In fact, if anything, the drifting smoke from nearby wildfires was worse. My visibility from the fire tower was only four miles at best. It's not uncommon to see for at least 20 miles. The decision was made to close the tower for the day. This gave me the opportunity to do some area familiarization and hike to Weaver Lake, which is in my area of responsibility. I'm driving up a Forest Service road that I found, which is off of Big Meadows Road. Big Meadows is just outside of Kings Canyon National Park. It will take me to Fox Meadow and a different trailhead to Weaver Lake. Taking this route will cut two miles off of the seven miles round trip mentioned in my hiking book. brought my drone to fly over the lake, but I forgot this was wilderness area. I guess that's not going to happen. This is harder than cardiac rehab.
parts of the lake. Beautiful. Oh, it's amazing. It's not that cold either. Oh, you, you got in it? I did. Well worth it. <laughs> Sometimes I think about John Muir passing through this area on its way from San Francisco to Yosemite. I picture him wearing a button-up vest, a pair of slacks, and dress shoes with a handful of tea bags and a pocket full of crackers. John Muir navigated these rugged landscapes, unpredictable weather, and the uncertainty of what he called wild places. We have become too civilized and have almost removed ourselves from the natural landscape for modern comforts. These wild places were a part of us for generations. They're in our blood. Why am I here? I'll try and answer that. Being outside changes everything for me. It's the overall experience because out here, I'm not in a hurry. Certain tasks like cooking, cleaning, and setting up camp aren't chores. They're a part of the overall experience. There's no urgency or race against the clock. I don't have to prepare for the moment because I'm in the moment. I'm just able to relax. Another huge thing for me is that nature isn't perfect, and for me, that is comforting. I'm normally a little bit of a perfectionist. I can let go of that in nature and be okay with it. I don't question why that rock is right there or why a tree fell a certain way. I don't question my surroundings. I see it as the way it was intended to be, and for me, that makes it perfect. I'm just able to relax. Wilderness isn't a vacation or some sort of amusement park. It's not a place to escape from reality. Wilderness is the real world. Here we return to the natural order of things and to our place in the world. No better, no worse, but equal to everything else. When it comes right down to it, we don't matter. No more than a rock or a tree matters. In this vast wilderness, we are all equal. The point is to be part of the whole experience, not to live separate lives or to live the longest or acquire the most stuff. I don't think a piece of beef jerky is going to kill me. With this indifference comes a certain inclusion. I feel like I'm a part of the rocks, plants, trees, flowers, chipmunks, squirrels, and snakes. I feel a great sense of belonging when I enter the forest and the birds continue singing in my presence. I feel as if I belong there and it's my welcome home. I'm just able to relax. 
Nature will always welcome us back with open arms. Go see for yourself. Hike into a remote section of wilderness. I call this location my sit spot. Just sit, listen, and wait. You may not feel anything at first, but just keep sitting. Eventually, perhaps after a few hours, you may start to feel something. It's in the rocks, and the trees, and the wind. Nature speaks a simple language, so don't try and make sense of it. Just listen, but don't use your ears. Listen with your heart. I just finished a five mile hike to Weaver Lake. I took my Garmin inReach on this hike for several reasons. One, I always take it. But two, given my current circumstances, I figured having the SOS feature handy um, would be a prudent thing to do. Another thing that I did was I sent a message to another fire lookout, letting them know at where I was, where I was going, and I sent them the link. So they were able to follow along on a map and see my progression as I hiked. Um, if something were to happen and I were to go down and couldn't hit SOS, they would be able to see that I haven't moved for quite a while. They would know my exact location and they would be able to send help. 